Hey guys, Colleen here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe on your way out. And to all my returning subscribers, thanks for coming back and checking in on your girl, Lisa. It's a perfume review video. I did haul some more. I did say in my last video that I'm gonna have some back to back hauls. In terms of the makeup look, no, I did not record it, but I wouldn't mind recording it for you guys. Let me know in the comment section below. I used this bad boy to create this look, and I, I'm in love. Like I'm in love. Like Juvia's makes some of the best affordable makeup around, especially the eyeshadows, and this one, baby, like. Listen, and I have like a whole bunch of them. I don't have all, but you know, so yeah, let me know. Enough rambling. So, I'm going to review six perfumes here um, that I got into travel sets. So, you know, um, I wanted to try out some more perfumes, but of course, you know, buying perfumes that are at full size sometimes, you know. Especially when you are blind buying isn't always advisable. So um, a while back my girlfriend, I was talking to her and um, I mentioned that I wanted to try the YSL Mon Pari perfumes and I didn't want to buy um, the full size just as yet because I wanted to test it out I wasn't too sure about the scent and it's pretty pricey and she was able to send me a travel set with the YSL Mon Pari and the Intensement and I was able to try out the two I'll put a picture of the um, set I don't think I have the box I'm not too sure but these are the two travel sets here they look absolutely cute with the bow this is the intensement with the kind of purplish bow and this one is the original Mon Pari and as you can see here I have put a ridiculously huge dent in this one I love this one and I'm telling you off the cuff I want to get the full size so the top notes in the Mon Pari are strawberry, raspberry, pear, orange, tangerine, calibran, bergamot, cologne. Middle notes, peony, jasmine, samba, Chinese, jasmine, deruta, orange blossom, and base notes, Indonesian patchouli, leaf patchouli, white musk, vanilla and broxen moss and cedar listen a lot of stuff going on with this perfume but when I tell you like this smells so nice like it smells like a very jammy floral to me like it's a sweet floral I can handle a sweet floral you know and funny enough the Bath and Body Works um, scent you're the one is a exact dupe for this perfume it's so funny because when I got like the candle version I didn't like it at first but then it started growing on me and I really got that strawberry note in there and it was just that was just it for me it was like heaven I fell in love you know it's so very fruity and sweet and just mouth watering and then it's well balanced with the florals in it so I mean for me I am definitely going to buy the full size of this one because as you can see you girl love off this one bad bad so the next one in the set is the Mon Pari Enhancement so of course you know I was also interested in this one because 
I'm like, is this like the intense vision of the original? And I already like fell head over heels in love with the original. Unfortunately, this is slightly different in terms of the DNA. It's not as sweet as the original. As a matter of fact, it's even more floral <laughs> than the original. And I honestly, I mean, you've seen how much I use. I, I'm really not a fan of this one. It's just, yeah, it's not as fruity, juicy, yummy, jammy. It's more on the floral side, which is okay. You know, like I would probably wear this one more in the evening time, you know, versus this one where, you know, this is like brunch with the girls hanging out, you know, doing shopping, you know, it's a very feminine scent. Both are very feminine, but this one, um, I don't know, it just seems because it's more floral heavy, it's a little more um, mature. This one is just a little more youthful and flirty. So the top notes in the Intensement are raspberry, blackcurrant, pear, orange, bergamot, middle notes, maya rose, Bulgarian rose, peony, durata, fraser, base notes, vanilla, white musk, patchouli, cashmere, and benzoin. And I mean, this one, it is nice. I mean, I know this is a crowd favorite, you know, but for me, like there's just something sweeter and juicier with the original. And I mean, I'm glad that my friend sent me the travel sprays to try out because these are very pricey. The full bottles of these are very pricey. But I think at the end of the day, I'll definitely get the original. I mean, it was good to try out, but you know, for me, this is not full bottle. Really. Okay, the next four perfumes that I want to talk about come from the same house that is Alice Brooklyn. I think it's like a new to the market clean perfume, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I saw them selling on the Sephora site, and of course, I was very interested in trying them out but of course because I knew absolutely nothing about the brand I went on the site because I realized that Sephora did not carry all the products and all the sets and I was able to pick up this um, gift set called the Novellas and it has four travel size perfumes like this right and I got this for a steal I think this was like it has the value of a hundred and sixty US is that 160 no 120 because I think it's $30 yeah 120 US when I went on the side they had it on sale it was like 60 US and then I had a 25% off coupon code so you know you can cop these and they come with four scents the first is myth rose rose sci-fi and fawn so those are the four sets there as you can see I have used up quite a bit of myth and sci-fi there yeah, let me just read the notes of each perfume for you guys because they actually have them on the box which i like so okay well let's start off with the first one which is myth <laughs> as you can see i really did put a good dent on this one the notes in this perfume myth are amber jasmine white cedar orchid Right, and just take a little sniff sniff yeah so this is like a heavy floral 
white floral because the jasmine really jumps out in this one as well as the cedar wood so even though it has a floral like DNA <coughs> excuse <clears throat> even though it has like a floral DNA to it it has like a colony vibe it almost leans a little bit masculine because of the cedar wood in it which I like it just gives it like a clean cool floral scent it's not a warm floral this is a very cool floral and I love wearing this like this at work I just feel cool and fresh and cool now the next one which is rose with an extra R um, the scent notes are Centifolia, Rose, Sicilia, Lemon, Cassis, and Lotus Blossom. So again, super duper on the floral side with Rose probably being the star of this show. This is a nice rose. Now, <laughs> coming from me, who don't like rose scents, this is a nice rose and why I say this is a nice rose at least for me is that this is not a heavy mature dated rose this is not an overpowering rose that kind of dates you and you know kind of ages you a bit this is a greener fresher rose again this is a great office scent I don't think this will be um offensive to anybody it's not screechy it's not cloying it's just lovely soft silky rose it smells like silky rose petals you know when you pick freshly plucked rose petals off and you get that kind of sweet silky but yet green smell of the petals that's how this perfume smells this is this is probably the best rendition of a realistic rose smell I have smelt and I have smelt a lot of rose guys like a lot a lot of rose and this one I I mean a surprise I haven't used this one but now that I'm smelling I need to pull this one out and use this one for work so yeah definitely liked that one the next one is sci-fi and of course you can see by then um, I really like this one. I like the blue juice in it. So sci-fi is vanilla bean, green tea, bitter orange, and freesia. This is probably one of the most interesting vanilla scents I've come across and I, I love vanilla. Like I love a good vanilla. This vanilla is like so different. Like this is like vanilla with citrus in it is the best way to describe it like creamy vanilla but not creamy creamy like more like vanilla bean in its natural state and like orange or lime zest you know those scents that you pick up in um, your baking like you're gonna bake a cake and you're using fresh vanilla bean from the pod and lime zest or orange zest to make a cake this smells so unique but it smells so good this this reminds me of um like when my mom used to bake um orange sponge cake it smells so so divine like i'm 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 going back to that memory of mm. her making orange vanilla sponge cake and it smells gorgeous like I I would definitely hands down get a full bottle of this so and the last one here in this set is fawn fawn has the notes of bergamot coconut milk amber lily of the valley now this one I I don't, know, I don't know what to make of this one like to 
to me, I love a coconut scent. Like I, I don't know, like I am obsessed with two scents, vanilla, coconut, love them. But this one, like, <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of like, it's kind of like Dolce and Gabbana, you're the one, intense with the coconut. But the coconut is not creamy, you know? It's not creamy. The vanilla in it is not there to make it as creamy or as warm. The coconut is more like coconut water. It's a little on the green side. It's fresh. Again, this would make a really good decent. I can see it being more on the unisex side as well. Guy or girl. You know whoever anybody could wear this one with ease you know again it's not polarizing but I don't know it's not the coconut that I like it's a nice coconut but it's not like a, you know like sexy vibe coconut it's not even vacation vibe coconut you know it's not like um beach walk replica beach walk or Tom Ford um, Soleil Blanc. It's it's like a green coconut water mixed in with some light, very light um, citrus. Does have the florals there, you know. The amber is there to make it a little more on the musky side, but the coconut. I don't know. I, uh, out of the four, that one was the most disappointing for me in that set so yeah so that is it for this video thank you so very much for watching if you found this video helpful um, let me know have you tried out any of these perfumes are you interested in trying out any of these perfumes comment in comment section below make sure to like share comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye guys I just see back watch your pose like Mona Lisa She switch it up on me, I cannot keep her